What is up you guys? It's your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome to an On The Farm. Do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's it going and welcome. So guys, what we're actually going to be doing is cutting back. Today's Wednesday currently. We're going to cut back to Sunday morning where we came down after the big storm. Uh, check that footage out and I'll meet you right back here on Wednesday. Yeah, I just grabbed that thing and scooped her up. So you grabbed it and scooped it. I think it hit that wire, maybe. She went up flying. That's what happens when you get 70 mile an hour wind gust. So pumpkin plants in 70 mile an hour winds don't get along. Look at the way that's rolled up. That's the wind. They're blooming. It's been so hot. They're junk. Seventy mile an hour wind gust recorded in St. Louis last night. Pumpkin plants and 70 mile an hour winds just do not get along. Look at that. It damn near it damn near ripped it out of the ground, boys. That plant's probably gonna die because it got like ripped out of the ground halfway. Yeah, look at this one here. It literally ripped this one out of the ground last night. That's not gonna make it. I mean it's attached still. There ain't no way that makes it. We're a little disappointed right now. Um, 70 mile an hour winds, pumpkin plants, they don't mix. They don't mix at all. Now we were having problems with our pumpkin plants obviously before we got 70 mile an hour winds, but uh, 70 mile an hour winds, pumpkin plants, they don't mix. Look. That right there boys is a pumpkin plant. That was in the garden last night. The garden's over there. Pumpkin plant's over here. So between um, our pumpkins just rotting off at the ground and now this storm, looks like pumpkin day's gonna be canceled, guys. Just saying. Here, check this out. Here's another one, guys. Now, I'm not saying that that was a perfectly healthy plant, but the garden's way over there. Like, we're way out here in the middle of the yard. There's another one. This literally ripped them right out of the ground. Like I said, that's what 70 mile an hour winds will do, huh? And that's what they recorded in St. Louis. That's not what we got out here. We probably got stronger out here. It tends to be windier down here, of course, because there's nothing to stop the wind. So all that damage for a couple drops of rain, let's just be real. It's kind of ridiculous if you ask me. We are without power at home, we have power down here at the farm. Alright, so we're back here on Wednesday guys, and um, look, I've got more pathetic looking pumpkins. How about that? <laughs> so, not totally sure, because they die if we water, they die if we don't water, although these are looking good, these are replants here. Those are looking pretty solid, not going to lie. Pretty solid. You can see everything's dirty from that storm still on Sunday. All oh, the plants are pretty bad. Looking. That one actually looks pretty decent, that hill. This hill doesn't look terrible. You can see there is dead in there, though. Um, this hill looks alright, but we've got more dead ones coming up. This hill doesn't look terrible. Not great, but okay, now this is a problem. <laughs> uh, this hill was really good looking Sunday yet, and it's done now. Along with this one, these will all die probably today. So the good news is that it's not just us having problems with our pumpkins. 
we talked to one of our neighbors who grows pumpkins down here in the country and he's having some problems too so as bad as this might sound it makes me feel better that it's not just us you know what i'm saying so that is good uh, i guess while we're out here let's talk about the soybeans guys they're still growing this is pretty decent dirt and uh yeah keep in mind this is supposed to be a short variety soybean <laughs> Uh, the same variety that they planted two years ago here that got like five feet tall or four feet tall or something crazy. And uh, let's take a look. So there you guys can see them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say they're waist high and I am about six foot tall. So they're coming right along. They are coming right along. They're doing quite nice. Uh, let's actually look in the plant here. Do a little look in. They are blooming as you can see blooms all up and down so a rain right now would be really beneficial you can see there's actually some bods set on already but for the most part they're not potted up yet a rain would be much appreciated by these soybeans um, we had like maybe two tenths of an inch the other day and for the past almost six weeks i think we're at nine tenths of an inch of rain which will be due when it's been 100 plus degrees multiple days and actually today's another one where it's supposed to be about 100 so it's just brutal it's just brutal down here and you guys can hear probably i'm like <laughs> dying out of breath because it's just hot it just takes it right out of you instantly i mean we just got here and i'm dying of sweat already it's just not fun but let's talk about the corn while we're here too uh, it's been a while since i've actually been out here and looked at the corn but what you're seeing is some wind damage Seeing some wind damage. See how these leaves are all shredded up? That's from our 70 mile an hour wind gust we had the other day. And down here, uh, down here because there's nothing to block the wind, the wind was probably stronger than 70 miles an hour. There was hail involved in the storm. I don't know if the farm got any hail or not. Uh, normally, when you're talking hail this late into the year, you can actually see holes through the corn leaves. I'm not seeing any holes. But I am seeing just shredded, 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 shredded corn leaves, which really doesn't matter at this point. The ears are pretty well made, but ears are still getting a little bit bigger. And as you guys can see, you know, and we've talked about this before, but this, this corn is like, it's fantastic. I mean, that's two solid, solid ears. I mean, this is, this one's better. This is your first ear here second year here that's still a decent ear of corn this is the irrigated field of course and they have not actually been watering this side as much as out farther on the sand because the sand of course needs more water uh, this has only gotten water here i think twice and some of that sand out there has gotten water probably five or six times now so you can see though you know it's coming out of the it's coming out of the shuck in some spots it's this corn's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty decent corn, uh, especially for this field. This field last year did like 135 bushels to the acre, and that was with no irrigation. So we've had just as hot and as dry of a year, if not drier, than last year here in the St. Louis area. So it, uh, it is a good thing they put the irrigation in to go ahead and, and water all this corn. So... Like I said, I think this corn is going to be pretty good this year. And actually out on the sand sand, which I'm going to fly the drone out there later today so you guys will get some drone footage. But out on the sand sand, that corn is looking so much better than last year. If I can find it, I will go back and actually find drone, drone footage of that same field last year because it was planted in corn now two years in a row. And if I can find the footage, I'll go back and pull it and show you guys what... That corn looks like last year. We'll do a side-by-side -side of what it looked like last year and what it looks like this year. It is a amazing difference, honestly. It is absolutely amazing. So, having talked about the corn, the soybeans, the pumpkins, I don't know what else I have for you guys right now other than it is hot. It is miserable. Uh, I'm going to go get me a bottle of water and chill out, and uh, we'll definitely get some drone footage, and we'll see what else we get for uh, this on the farm. I don't really know what's going on here today, but uh, we'll get footage of what we can for you guys so stay tuned all right you guys john the voiceover guy here now for this part of the video I do appreciate you guys sticking around this long in the video 
Boys, uh, so as you noticed, 2017, that is the current year, of course, as I have recorded this just the other day, and this is out on the sand. The field on the right is irrigated. Now, you're noticing a lot of burnt up corn. When the farmers cut their paths out into the field, they did not go far enough and account for wind. So next year, I'm sure it's, you know, this year is a giant learning experience for them. So next year, they will make their paths just a little bit longer so that it covers more of the field. Farther back towards the path and whatnot, it looks a lot better. But what we're going to be doing here, guys, in just a second, we will be jumping back to 2016, the same field. So really pay attention here to the field in general, how it looks with corn on it. And honestly, yeah, there's some spots that are burnt out here or, you know, showing a little stress. But that's not bad. The The actual corn is going to be so much better this year uh, compared to last year in the same field. So here we go, guys. We are going to be jumping back right now. Look at that. All right, so that's the same corner on the left where we started the last clip. Um Look at the difference in the corn here, guys. I mean, this was a couple feet tall. It was just crap corn. And this, the field still averaged like 130 bushel to the acre. And actually, you can still see the marks where they put down liquid fertilizer to side dress. You can still see those last year. This year, of course, you can't with the irrigation. Um, and here, yeah, there's, there's spots in this field last year that did look decent. But... You can tell it just overall, it doesn't really look that great. And and there's a lot that, uh, it, it's very uneven last year and, and a lot that was showing stress uh, very early on. So it's kind of interesting to see this uh, last year as well and compare it to this year. I thought that was kind of neat and make a cool uh, thing, part of this video basically for you guys. So... Yeah, so that was 2016, guys, last year. And look, I mean, look at how much dirt you can see between the rows, basically. And here we are back to 17, guys, and we're going up. We're pretty high here. You can see their paths for their water cannon. And I'm actually noticing between the water cannon paths, you can tell that the gun overlaps. You can definitely tell the gun overlaps because in the center when we go back up here, this is the neighbor's field that you're looking at now. And then basically where the truck is on the right from there up is the field that's irrigated. And like I said, they didn't quite get all the way down because their paths were not long enough. But you can really tell between the paths how much darker the corn is, how much better the corn looks there. And that's because it's getting double water in the center between the paths. So hope you guys enjoyed this look back to last year and uh, look at a uh, you know from above at the cornfield this year uh, i really do appreciate you guys watching another on the farm make sure you hit that like button for more subscribe if you have not already done so and as always toodles